Okay, good afternoon, beekeepers of the world. Um, it's the 9th, is it? October, 8th or 9th? And the weather is glorious. So this may be our last opportunity to get in here and have a look. So I'm taking the opportunity, move the cushion. Also, while I'm here, just want to do a bit of reconfiguration of this thing. Bought on the internet. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Right. Last week I put some pins, which are here, and I've marked up where everything is inside the hive. That's where the queen and the brood nest is, where the red is. Either side is where the honey stores are. Either side of that, essentially, are these green ones which have got comb, but no resources. My plan is to switch over these one, two, three, four, with these one, two, three, four, so all the resources are in a long line there. Reason for that, uh, Midwinter, when they all decide to go one direction, eat the food, there's a danger of them starving before realizing that there's food at the other side. It's called isolation starvation. And the plan is to uh, avoid that happening. So to remind myself, these four are coming out, and these four have been in their places. Break the seal and everything. And as you can see, it's comb, but no stores. <laughs> Nothing's changed since last week. Mm -hmm. There we go, lots of comb, no stores again. And again, as last week, great comb, but with nothing in it. We should start getting to where the action is. There we go, another great comb. Uh, a few bees on there, but nothing much inside it. Let's have a look at it. That's what it is, it's got a little bit of honey at the top. Otherwise, not much else. So that's going to come to this end. Right, the remainder is these four bars with honey on. And there's another four there. So I'm now going to get these four, pop them into this space. Let's see how much food we've got on this. So, not much honey on that. Hardly any. There's some there. I think I'm going to potentially feed these bees because they're. We've got vast amounts of food on them. Oh, that's quite heavy. So that's much better. That's got honey at the top. And nectar, probably another third of the way down. Right, we took it out that way, so I'm going to put it in this way so they sit together nicely. There we go. Yeah, that's got plenty of food on it. Looking good, in it goes. Take these ones out, a bit of space for these now. They can go in here, as can these. Oops, there we go. Right, we've got one more to take out. I just want to check. This has not got any brood on it because we're in that sort of area. No, nope. what we have got at the bottom as well is a bit of wax that's clearly fallen off earlier in the season. Let's take that off. There we go. So this one's going to fit in here. Turn it around that way so it fits together correctly. I just want to a little bit of clean up on this, just cleaning it up a little. The bees are not going to be too happy. But if I just straighten that out, just help me get this end one in. There we go. There we go. Excellent. 
And let's fill it up from this end, these green ones. I'll try using the full ones first, a bit better insulation. So that's a good one. Just cut off this bit of top there. There we go. Nice and neat. That's one, two, probably going to give them three or four of these, more so they can use those in the spring, when the spring comes. That's an empty one, not to bother about that one, that's a good one. Okay. Also while I'm on the job, I'm just going to clean the inside out there. Make that nice and neat. Put it this way, like that. Again, a little bit of a bit of shape in here. Just so they sit together nicely. Perfect, you can do with that as they please. So let's put the lid on and call it winter.